Hey, what's up guys? This is Thomas with SketchUp Architect and in this video we're going to talk about some of the new features of SketchUp 2020. Ready to get started? Let's go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about in SketchUp 2020 is layers. So let me go over to our tray to where our layers are supposed to be and they are gone. There is no category called layers anymore. They completely removed it. Now, before you panic and freak out, all they did was rename it. So they renamed layers to be tags. Now tags behave exactly the same way as your layers did. Uh, you can turn them off or on. You can add a tag or delete a tag. And um, it also just the same exact functions that it had with layers. Same thing with tags. So why do they do that? What are they trying to do here? Well, SketchUp is trying to get you to use Outliner more. So Outliner has some um, some new features with it and basically every object in your model is basically kind of its own layer if you want to say and you can turn them off or on so for instance I have a desk here that I just highlighted and here it is in my outliner highlighted the uh, care desk concrete and I can turn that off or on and I can also open up this little tab here and you can see that there's components within that. Let me go ahead and click this. And I can turn components within it on or off. So there you can see some of the legs disappearing. Um, so basically it just gives you a lot more control in the outliner of each object in your model. So that's, that's really the reason why they're trying to um, just kind of have you use outline a little bit more than, than layers or tags now. But if you're used to using layers, don't worry about it. You can still use tags the exact same way. So now the next new feature that I want to talk about is grips. So if I select an object and then go into the move command and I hover over the object, you can see that these grip points now appear and I can grab these as a base point to move my object. So let's say if I grab this here and I want it to uh, back up against this wall, I'll just drag to that on face and group and just click there and I can move my objects, objects like that. Now another option that it gives me while I'm in this uh, move function, if I hit the down arrow key, it'll toggle from the endpoints to the sensor points. And there it is right there. Now we're in the sensor, I can drag it from that midpoint and do one more time. And now I have the option of moving it from the center of the entire object. So it gives you three different ways of accessing grips in that object. So, and you just keep, keep hitting that down arrow key to toggle between them. So here we have the center and there's the exterior and there's the midpoints. So three different ways to move objects. Pretty cool. Um, if you're ever trying to move an object and you just can't find the right place to, to move it. So let's say if I wanted to move this object, it's going to select it. Yep. Hit that move command. And let's say I want it to butt up against this wall. Let's hover over it and let's get that midpoint. There we go. And we can just back it up until it hits the wall there. So pretty cool new feature that they added with objects and grips. Now the third new feature that I want to talk about is here in our view window, we have a, a similar feature that we had in other versions of SketchUp, which is this show hidden geometry. So I can go ahead and check that. And here we can see just the hidden ge geometry lines in our object here. And that's, that's the same as it's been in previous versions. But what they added now is a show hidden objects category. So if I click on that, there we see we have our objects that were not visible before, they're now visible. Now this is something in previous versions of SketchUp that if you turned on this show hidden geometry, it would show all the hidden geometry of your hidden objects. So now what they've done is they kind of separated that so that if you had something hidden like I did, you would not have seen the hidden geometry of those those things. So um, not everyone has to deal with situations that you need those geometries on or off, but when you do, it's really a nice feature that they've separated those objects that are hidden with just hidden geometry. So uh, a nice little addition that they added. All right, guys, so those are just three new features that really stood out to me in this latest version of SketchUp. 
Um, if you want a little bit more information about SketchUp 2020, I'll leave a link to this description. Uh, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description box below to this page right here that you're looking at. This is Trimble SketchUp blog. And here you'll see just a little bit more in-depth information about this latest version of SketchUp. So I hope you like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Keep sketching.